In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, justice continued to elude families of Shopaya double rape and murder victims, Asya and Nilofa, despite the passage of 13 years to the gory incident. Asya and Nilofa were abducted, raped on 29th May in 2009 and subsequently killed by the men in uniform during custody in Shopaya. Their bodies were found in a shallow stream in Rambiara area on the next morning. The Alpadi Suriya Conference leadership in a statement termed the rape and murder incident as a chilling example of Indian troops' brutalities in occupied Juma and Kashmir. The ABSC deplored that India was using rape of women as a weapon of war to humiliate Kashmiris. APC leaders Bashir Ahmed Bhatt, Abdul Samad Inqalab, Zambuda Habib, Yasmin Raja, Jammu and Kashmir Muslim League, Jammu and Kashmir People's League, and Jammu Kashmir Freedom Party in their statement said the Shopaya tragedy was a serious attack on the collective conscience of the people of Jammu and Kashmir. It's worth mentioning here that as many as 11,255 cases of rape, gang rape, and molestation by Indian troops have been reported in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir since 1990. Meanwhile, Indian police have arrested as many as 19 people on the charge of anti-India sloganering and stone pelting outside Muhammad Yasin Malik's house in Maisama area of Srinagar. Draconian laws have been slapped on the arrested youth. It is worth mentioning here that Maisama continues to face protests since Yasin Malik was sentenced to life imprisonment by an Indian kangaroo court in a bogus case on May 25th. On the other hand, a decomposed body of 22 years old youth was recovered in Islamabad district today. In another incident, a 27-year-old truck conductor was found dead in Khonkan delegate area of Srinagar. The World Kashmir Awareness Forum, in a statement issued in Washington, condemned the life sentence to Jammu and Kashmir Liberation Front Chairman Mahmoud Yasin Malik by an Indian court in New Delhi. The statement urged the international community, human rights organizations and the United Nations to play their role for unconditional release of the Kashmiri leader from Indian jail. Rehbari Kale teachers under the banner of Employees Joint Action Committee have announced indefinite strike. The Rehbari Kale employees in a statement issued in Srinagar said that the authorities had recently proposed to defreeze posts which were frozen for Rehbari Kale employees at the time of appointment. The National Conference has expressed dismay over the blasphemous, offensive and frightening hurtful statement of the BJP spokesperson Nipu Sharma against Prophet Muhammad during a debate on an Indian news channel. National Conference leader Salman Ali Saga in a statement in Srinagar asked the BJP and the Indian government to offer an unqualified apology for such sacrilegious comments.